Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we've got a slightly different video. We're going to be talking about the rules of chess. Chess is a really useful game, especially if you want to improve your math skills. Because chess helps with problem solving, logical thinking and seeing patterns. Okay? Now I'm going to tell you where do the pieces start on the chessboard, how do the pieces move, some special moves you need to know, how to draw games where both players come out equal, and how to win games, and how to avoid losing games. Okay, let's start with the setup of the chessboard. And you have to remember that when you're setting up a chessboard, the white square has to be in the bottom right. So we turn it to make sure it's in the bottom right. Now the first piece is the pawns, and they go on the second uh, row like that. Then we have a rook, they go in the corner. We have a horse or a knight, they go in the second square. Bishop or goes on the third square. We have one queen goes on a square of its own colour, so the white queen goes on the white square, the black queen goes on the black square. And then the king goes on uh, the square next to the queen, like that. The black pieces are in the same order, but in reverse. The black queen goes on the, the black square of, uh, on the other side. Now, how do the pieces move? Well, let's start with pawns. Pawns, on their first move, can either move one space or two spaces forward. Like this like this, or like this. After they've had their first move, after each pawn has had its first move, they can only move one space forward, or take diagonally one square forward. So there's a black pawn moving forward one square, and this white pawn can take it diagonally one space. It can only take diagonally, it cannot take forward. The black pawn has been taken off the board now, it's no longer in play, and the black player has lost a piece. Now, if the black player moves a pawn like this, these two pawns are blocking each other. They cannot take each other, so they, and they cannot move forwards anymore. They are blocked. Now let's look at rooks, or castles. Castles can move forwards, or backwards, left or right, in straight lines. And I've highlighted that there. So it can move like this, like this, and if there's a piece of the other colour in its way, it can take that piece like this, and that piece gets taken off the board. Now let's look at knights. Knights can move in an L shape, two spaces, one way and one space the other, like this. This knight can jump to these eight squares here in this L shape. Let me show you. Now knights are the only piece that can jump over other pieces. Doesn't matter what color, black or white, it can jump over those pieces. And if, it, if a opponent's piece is in the way, it can take that piece as well off the board. Okay. Bishops can move diagonally. So this is a uh, bishop here, and it can move in this direction, like this, in diagonals, as far as it wants. Now we have queens. Uh, queens can move like a rook or like a bishop. I've highlighted all the squares this queen can move to here. Can move forwards, diagonally, backwards, as many spaces as it wants. The queen is a very powerful piece. Be careful not to lose your queen early on. Now we have the king. The king is the most important piece. If you lose the king, you lose the game. The king can only move one square in any direction. Only one square in any direction. Now we're going to talk about some special moves. Castling is the only move where you can move two pieces at the same time. It's when you have a king and a uh, rook, and you move the king two spaces, and the castle jumps over it, like this. I'll show you that again. So they start like this, 
The king moves two spaces and the rook jumps over it. It only works if the king and the castle have not moved before. They are not, um, the king is not in uh, attacked by another piece, that's called in check. And the, if the king and the castle are not, uh, well, are in the same places as they started at the start of the game. You can also have the king and the castle on the other side of the board. And again, the king moves two spaces, the rook jumps over it. Similarly, with black, it looks like this. But over here, you can see that the white rook is attacking through the castle. And so you cannot castle through an attack. If the king moves through an attack uh, while castling, you are not allowed to do it, and you have to um, do it, play another move. Okay? Now, promoting. So the pawns, when they reach the other side of the board, are promoted and rewarded for reaching the other side. And you can promote them to a queen, a bishop, a rook, or a knight. Normally, you would just choose a queen. Finally, we've got en passant. Uh, this is a French word uh, phrase that means in passing. And if you've got a pawn here, and the opponent plays a pawn move, moving two squares forward like this from a pawn in the next row, you can take that pawn diagonally like this. And that's called en passant. Let me show you that again. So the opponent moves their pawn two spaces and you take diagonally like this, landing on the square behind the other pawn. That's called en passant. Okay? We also need to know about check. So here I'm moving the queen to attack the king. And you can see the queen is attacking the king here. The king cannot uh, be lost, so your next move as black has to be to defend the king. You can either do this by blocking the check by moving the pawn forward, or you can move the king to a space where it's not in check. You cannot move the king to this square here because that is also being attacked by the uh, queen. Okay? If you ever put in check, you have to move out of check straight away. If you put someone in check, you normally say check. And here we are, moving the pawn to defend against check. Now, drawing. We have to know how to draw a game. Uh, so here, uh, the queen is attacking the king. So the king must move. And the king moves like this. And now the white king moves here. And now the game is drawn. It is a stalemate where the black player cannot move any of his pieces. The uh, two black pawns here cannot move forward and they cannot take uh, another piece. Uh, so they can't move and the king cannot move because it will be moving into check. And so this is an uh, even game where neither player wins, neither player loses. It's a shame because white was really close to winning this game, so you have to be careful, even when you're winning, not to draw the game. Finally, let's see uh, another uh, drawing, where here the knight takes a pawn, and now neither player has enough uh, pieces to win the game. You cannot checkmate the king with just a bishop and a king, and you cannot check, uh, checkmate the other uh, king with a, a knight and a king. It doesn't work. So neither player can uh, go to checkmate, so both players agree to a draw. Finally, let's see how you win. So I've got this board set up here, and white seems to be winning. The rook moves to attack the king. This puts the king in check, like this. Now, um, the king has to move out of check, because you always move when you're placed in check. Now the queen moves to attack the king. 
The king must defend against checkmate. The king can't move anywhere because all the spectacles squares it can move to are blocked, uh, are attacked by the rook and the queen. So the only move it can do is move the bishop uh, to block the check like this. And now it's really easy. The white queen just takes the bishop and this is checkmate where there is no way to move the king out of check or a block checkmate with another piece. So white wins this game. Okay. Now, to see this in action, I've got a game here for you to watch. This is just an example game uh, between two players. Okay, thank you for watching today's video with Advanced Maths. Remember we do many many videos for GCSE A-Level and IB Maths videos. Quick and simple explanations and new videos come very often. Subscribe, click subscribe and click the like button uh, to share with your friends. Thanks for watching, I hope you did enjoy today's video on the chess rules and I hope you have many fun games of chess. Bye for now.